Rapunzel's Challenge Rapunzel skipped happily along as Flynn Rider guided her through the forest. She had finally left her tower and was traveling to the kingdom. You know, Blondie, Flynn said, the forest can be dangerous. It's no place for someone like you. What do you mean, someone like me? Rapunzel asked. Anything you can do, I can do too. In fact, she said, I'll bet I can do it better than you. Flynn grinned. Well, why don't we have a contest? Rapunzel thought for a moment. What could the winner get? She looked at her chameleon friend, Pascal, who rubbed his tummy. I know, Rapunzel exclaimed, pulling out her iron skillet. Whoever loses has to make the winner a snack. You're on, Flynn said. Rapunzel asked what kind of contest he had in mind. Flynn chuckled. It didn't matter. Whatever challenge they decided on, he knew he'd win. He pointed to a tall tree. How about who can climb this tree faster? Rapunzel squared her shoulders. In a flash, she threw her long hair onto a low branch and swung gracefully up into the tree. Hang on, Flynn cried. I didn't say go. He quickly used two arrows to climb up the tree past Rapunzel. This is too easy, he thought. She'll never beat me. When he'd almost reached the top of the tree, Flynn heard a voice call down to him. Yoo-hoo, what took you so long? Rapunzel was sitting on the top branch of the tree. How did you get up there so fast? Flynn cried. Rapunzel pointed to her hair. You'd be surprised how much I can do with this. That's cheating, Flynn argued. I demand another contest. This time, no hair. Rapunzel agreed. They decided to have a race. First one to the river wins, Flynn declared. Pascal gave the signal, and they were off. As Flynn raced along, he noticed a wanted sign tacked to a tree with his picture on it. While Flynn was staring at it, Rapunzel sped right past him, her gleaming hair trailed behind her. I can't lose, Flynn thought. He doubled his speed and tripped over Rapunzel's hair. Before he knew it, he was completely tangled in her long locks. Rapunzel kept running to the river's edge. She won! That wasn't fair, Flynn panted. You used your hair again. No, I didn't, Rapunzel argued. I only used my legs. But Flynn insisted on one more contest. Flynn pointed to the river. Let's see who can cross this first, he said. He jumped into the water. Rapunzel didn't know how to swim. How could she get across without swimming or using her hair? Any ideas? she asked Pascal, who was hanging from a vine. The little chameleon shrugged. Then Rapunzel's eyes lit up. That's it, she cried. When Flynn climbed out of the river, Rapunzel was standing on the shore. You got here first, Flynn sputtered. And you're not even wet? Rapunzel nodded. I swung across. Rapunzel held up a strong vine that stretched back to a tall tree on the opposite side of the river. I didn't use my hair, she explained. I used this. Glumly, Flynn poured the river water out of his boots. Fine, you win, he sighed. What about the prize, Rapunzel reminded him, pulling out her skillet. You owe us a snack. Well, what would you like, Flynn asked Rapunzel. Surprise us, Rapunzel answered excitedly. Flynn built a fire and gathered nuts and cherries to cook. Soon, delicious smells filled the air. Mmm, Rapunzel said, taking a bite. You know, you might be almost as good at cooking as I am. Almost.